the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to all of you, and welcome to the celebration of Holy Mass. We come into the presence of Almighty God, and we thanks for the gift of life, which He bestows upon each and every one of us, and in particular, we give thanks for the gift of life, which He bestows upon all we now commend that mm. gift to Almighty God. Mm. Uh, as difficult as it is, we <coughs> are consoled by that word, those words of St. Paul reminds us that we are people in Rome, that we are the same as the that we are Christ as God, we too dare to go down here. So during this early Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Paul Mayo, but we also pray for ourselves, who we have not had that opportunity to meet our Lord face. Ada was born on the 16th of September 1944 in La Junta, only a few years after the devastating civil war. Her village, situated somewhere between Madrid and Barcelona, has one of the hardest climates in Spain, where people eat out a li living with agriculture on poor, dry, rocky soil. At the age of 14, she was sent to live with her uncle near Valencia, where there was an opportunity for her to work uh, and about two years later, she moved to Barcelona, where she lived in a residence run by Catholic nuns. Here, she worked and studied until the age of 25, when she ventured to Paris to learn the French language at the Alliance Française. It was here where she met her future husband from the Netherlands a year later. After another six months, she went to London to study English, whilst her fiancé went to Spain to acquaint himself with the Spanish language in preparation for their marriage, which took place at the cathedral in 1972. Almost immediately after arriving in Cape Town, she found employment in the Spanish consulate. Her diligence, dedication, adaptability, exceptional memory, intelligence, and talents for organizing human relations and so many more attributes led to a rapid promotion to chancellor, the <coughs> highest administrative position in the consulate. She often had to perform as acting consul. She maintained a wide circle of acquaintances, of which she memorized elaborate details. On her 76th birthday, she received well over 300 congratulations. Palmira dedicated her life to helping old people in need, from physically helping out with distribution of food to for the poor at the soup kitchens in town, to assisting the very royal family of Spain. In 1982, King Juan Carlos decorated her with the Lazo de Dama of the Order of Isabel la Católica. Palmira was appreciated as the mother of the entire Spanish colony in South Africa, as well as many members of the Latin American community in this country. With her passing, she's leaving behind her loving husband, Franz, son Adrian, her daughter Elena, and three grandchildren, Ben, Declan, and Christian. May she rest in peace. Palmira nació el 16 de septiembre de 1944 en la Junta, pocos años después de la Guerra Civil. Su pueblo, situado entre Madrid y Barcelona, tiene un clima muy extremo donde los agricultores luchan con tierra pobre, seca y rocosa. A los 14 años, Palmira fue a vivir con su tío en Valencia, donde había oportunidad de trabajar. Dos años después se fue a Barcelona a vivir en una residencia de monjas. Ahí trabajaba y estudiaba hasta los 25 años, cuando decidió irse a París a aprender francés en la Alianza Francesa. Fue ahí donde conoció a su futuro marido un año más tarde. Él venía de Holanda también para estudiar francés. Después de seis meses, Palmira se fue a Londres a estudiar inglés y su novio se fue a España a aprender el español en preparación para el matrimonio, que se celebró en 1972 en la Catedral de aquí de la Ciudad del Cabo. Poco después de llegar a la Ciudad del Cabo, Palmira encontró trabajo en el consulado. Su diligencia, dedicación, adaptabilidad, memoria excepcional, inteligencia, talentos para organizar, relaciones humanas y muchos atributos más, la llevó a su carrera de canciller, el puesto más alto en la sección administrativa del consulado. A menudo tenía que actuar como cónsul interior. Mantenía un círculo amplio de conocidos que se memorizaban los detalles más elaborados. 
en su último cumpleaños, que hace menos de dos semanas cumplió 76 años, recibió más de 300 felicitaciones de todas partes del mundo. Palmira dedicaba su vida a ayudar a todos, desde personalmente distribuir tazas de sopa a los pobres en la calle, a asistir a la familia royal de España. En 1982, el rey la decoró con el lazo de dama de orden de Isabel la Católica. Palmira fue apreciada como madre de la colonia española entera en Sudáfrica, tal como muchos de la comunidad latina en este país. Con su fallecimiento deja atrás a su marido Franz, su hijo Adrián, su hija Elena y tres nietos, Ben, Declan y Cristian. Que descansen en paz. Palmira. My thoughts and my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my mysterious fault. Therefore, I ask this very of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again, mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant Omira, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to life again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading from St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, verse 79. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again that he might be the Lord of the dead and of the living. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So each of us shall give account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response, I will praise God all my days. I will praise God all my days. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. My days. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath. They return to clay and their plans that day come to nothing. I will praise my God all my days. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. Amen. 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 Praise God for my days. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died, but even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. 
Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The gospel of the day. Even about the fox and the vineyard, a tall thick fence around it, the vineyard on all sides. As the fox circled around the fence, he found a small hole in the fence, barely large enough to push his head through it. The fox could see what luscious grapes grew in the vineyard, and his mouth began to water, but the hole was far too small. So what did the fox do? He fasted for three days until he became thin, so that he managed to slip through that hole. Inside the vineyard, Fox began to eat in his heart's content. He grew bigger and fatter than ever before when he wanted to get out of the vineyard. But alas, the hole was too small once again. So what did he do? He fasted for three more days and then just about managed to slip through the hole and out again. He went outside, turning his head toward the vineyard. The poor fox said, Vineyard, vineyard, how good are you and how good are your fruits? But the man in which one enters you is also the same as when one leaves you, and so it is with the world. The way in which we enter this world is the same in which we leave it empty-handed. We arrive with nothing, we leave with nothing. What is important is what we choose to do between those two pivotal moments called birth and death. In the first reading, St. Paul, tells us that the life and death of each of us has its influence on others. And I would like to believe that Homer's life had a great influence on each and every one of you who are present today and those lives who are into the holy months. Let us reflect on the life of Homer for a moment. Homer will always be remembered for her strength, her warmth, kindness, and generosity. She dedicated her life to helping all people in need, from the distribution of food to the poor at soup kitchens in town, to taking provisions to the nuns in swelling down. She loved her wholeheartedly and always used to say, please don't worry too much. For Mary was an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, assisting at Holy Mass in the Scottish. She was also known as the mother of all Spaniards in South Africa, oftentimes providing assistance to many by the Spanish consulate. <coughs> and all of you could add to that list. You know it far better than I do. I found this quote, a quote which is erroneously attributed to former President Nelson Mandela, but in actual fact comes from Marianne Williamson's A Return to Love, which I think best sums up who Homer was. And I quote, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Those quote. What enabled Palmera to be the person that she was? She had a profound understanding that she was a child of God. She loved the God and lived to serve him and others, always making use of our God-given talents. At our baptisms, we receive a candle which is lit from the pastoral candle with the words, 
keep this flame burning brightly. That flame is representative of who Christ is to the world, always providing light in the many dark situations in our world. And there is surely joined in, in that activity by allowing <coughs> her light to shine, making manifest the glory of God that is within us. As much as today is about Omira, today is also about each and every one of us. As the preface for this holy mass speaks, Lord, for your faithful life is changed, not ended. It is to God that she gives an account of her time here on earth, as St. Paul indicates in the first reading, that you and I have not reached that stage on our journey called life. What is it that you and I do with the beautiful gift of life God has given to each of us? Many of us believe that we own tomorrow. Well, the truth is, we don't. Tomorrow belongs to none of us. If there is one thing that I can assure you of, is that both you and I will one day find ourselves in a coffin. The only thing is that we do not know and that will happen. So back to the question, what are we doing with the gift of life bestowed upon each and every one of us? Do we think of those less privileged than ourselves? Are we generous with our resources? Have we thought of feeding those who might have no food as a result of having lost their income due to COVID-19? Are we kind to others? Remember the gentle footprints of kindness that you leave behind makes a lifetime of soft imprints in the hearts of others that will never wash away. We allow our God-given talents and our God-given light to shine so that unconsciously that gives others permission to do the same. At present, find ourselves facing the reality of COVID-19. It has truly changed the way in which we do things. Adhering to the new normal might seem difficult and ridiculous at times, but it is also an opportunity for each of us to not only think of ourselves. Wearing a mask is not only about me, but about those I come into contact with and their help. As Catholics, we refer to ourselves as being pro-life. But all too often, we relegate being pro-life to <coughs> being anti-abortion. The reality of COVID-19 also calls us to be pro-life, care for the well-being of others, to wear masks, to social distance, to adhere to the rules, and to care for those who do not have. Times like these, we would like to erect monuments in honor of our departed loved one. Remember, monuments are made from concrete. They add no life. So as we continue to journey on our token, which calls life, this moment, monument that each of us can erect in honor of Pogrima is to emulate the person that she was, always caring for others, and learning to truly know who we are called to be by God. Amen. For the prayers of the faithful. <laughs> God, the Almighty Father, raise Christ, the Son, from the dead, to the confidence we ask him to save all these people living and dead. The response is here, our prayer. We pray for Palmyra, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life. May she now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, in your mercy, we are our prayer. We pray for our sister Omira, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for our deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for the family and friends of our sister Palmyra, but they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord and wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. 
We pray for us assembled here to worship in faith that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. God, our shelter and our strength, give us enough to the cry of your people, hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the spirit to offer which earth has given our human hands, and may it will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to have the fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands to the praise and the glory of God's name. For our good and the good of all God is only church. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings of God for the salvation of your servant, Palmyra, we beseech your mercy that she we do not touch your son to be a loving savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts and your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. To be right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, only Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. The hope of blessed resurrection has shown that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when the earthly dwelling turns to dust, as an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven, and so the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we are praying. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May God be there for these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon the life that you call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and with his hands, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Yes, sir, the 
came and sat in the Zeta, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
distribution of community, it will be hard to receive it. And please remain in your seat, stand. We are not in this state. Some left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey. Mercifully grant that strength and guidance. Our sister, and then when they come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Is there anyone doing the thanks? The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen.